My name is Alan Hart and today we're stripping down a Wiesman 100. So the reason I like stripping boilers down is I like to see what issues they've got and why they've broken down and why they've been replaced. So we've just disconnected the gas valve and now we're taking the burner out. We're just having a look inside this heat exchanger. So there's a little bit of muck in there but nothing, nothing special. It's uh, fairly clean. So we're just going to disconnect the hoses now. So the hoses were very brittle so we're going to take them off. We're going to cut them up and see what we find. So we can clearly see inside there that the system's not been very clean. You can see all the looks like magnetite on there. So we're just going to take these hoses out. I'm going to look and see what they're like inside and we're going to cut them up. So we can clearly see inside this hose here that it's got quite a lot of debris inside. So when you squeeze these, these, these hoses are rock hard. So we're just getting all the bits out inside of them. So possible causes of this could be um, a mucky system that the installers, when they've installed it, they've not done a very good job and they've not flushed the system out. There's quite a lot of muck in there. Now it does look like this is magnetite. We will check that shortly with a magnet and see what happens. So we'll just cut these ones in half now and you can see on the on the timber here all the muck that's come out. There's quite a lot of muck come out of this. So we can clearly see here that this is magnetic. There's quite a lot of uh, magnetite in this. In some places the hoses looked almost blocked. So let's take the back hose off now and we'll see what we find in this one. I must say that the hoses are very very easy to take off on this model. So if if you did need to change them, I don't think it would be a big issue. Just straight boiler down, obviously this, there's no water in this boiler. But you just drain the boiler down and just change them. I, I would imagine you, you could possibly do it in 20 minutes, half an hour. It does look fairly simple. So the back hose seems to be a little bit worse than the front one. And this pipe here looks uh, quite a lot of muck in this one. Personally, I don't like to see rubber hoses in boilers. I feel these men have a reason for it. Possibly it's due to noise. And to be fair, if you do need to change them, it is quite an easy job. So again, on this one, this is uh, almost blocked. Very, very bad, this one. This one. Really, really bad.
very important that we fit a filter on a heating system in my opinion and also make sure the system is cleaned out as as well as you can and to try and avoid things like this because this, this is what's killing boilers and this is what's making problems so flush it out and fit a good quality filter such as a MagnaClean or a Thermax filter well we're at it now we're going to strip the rest of the boiler out just to see how easy it is to strip down we're going to take the heat exchanger out we're going to cut this heat exchanger up um, we're not going to do that today but we're going to take it out for now and then we're going to cut it up and we're going to show you quality of these heat exchangers I'm also going to take a bunch of this out here again we're going to cut that up and we're going to show you the inside of that but that, that then will be for another video, not today One thing that is very clear now when we take this plate out is the water coming out of it is very very mucky, black. So to me that does say that the system must have been in quite a poor condition. Maybe the installer didn't do a very good job of flushing it when it was fitted. Who knows. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.